I rise today to express Canada's deepest condolences to all those grieving in New Zealand. Just a few days ago, our friend and ally suffered the worst terrorist attack in their history, an attack motivated by Islamophobia. Fifty men, women and children murdered at prayer, dozens more injured, gunned down by a monster, a terrorist, a coward. To our Muslim friends here in Canada, in New Zealand and around the world, know that we mourn with you. We feel your pain and we love you. We will stand by you in the difficult days and weeks to come. The tragedy in New Zealand is, sadly, yet another example of just how far we've gone astray. But we cannot let the lessons of those 50 deaths go unlearned. The path we are going down is dangerous and unsustainable. And people, well, people are tired of fighting this alone without the full backing of their leaders. But we can take a stand here and now in Canada and around the world and say that enough is enough. That the days of spewing hatred and inciting violence without consequences are over. We owe it to the people of Christchurch. We owe it to the people of St. Foy and of Pittsburgh and of Manchester. Mr. Speaker, we owe it to our kids and we owe it to ourselves. I'm calling on like-minded of the countries of the world to stand with Canada in this fight. Muslim, Christian, Jewish, black, white, all of us, we must fight this hatred as a team. A team that refuses to accept this as the new normal. A team tired of sending thoughts and prayers.